I just take the opportunity to welcome all of you. Thank you so much. It's a packed hall. And realize that a meeting on research methods would attract so much attention, but obviously it's an indication of how important research is in our context and in our health systems. I just thought I'd talk us through some uh, background concepts. Uh, some of these slightly long acronyms and words might be a bit uh, or disorienting. So just to start with uh, the question of what health policy systems research is. So it's a field that may be more familiar to some of you as health systems research, but it's also gained international currency in its slightly longer form of health policy and systems research. There have been a series of um, journal articles published on developing the theme. It's become the theme of a major WHO initiative, uh, launching a whole series on methodology. And there's also uh, a sequence of three global symposia which have now been organized on health systems research the third of which will be held in Cape Town in uh, October this year. So health policy and systems research an emerging cross-disciplinary field with its own evolving standards for creating, evaluating and utilizing knowledge and a particular orientation towards influencing policy and wider action to strengthen health systems. Uh, so it's a particularly action-oriented uh, science. Uh, it's more oriented towards influencing change than many of the traditional sciences. It encompasses a family of approaches, including implementation research, evaluation science, policy analysis, participatory research, and it draws equally from the social sciences and from traditional public health disciplines. It's widely been recognized as a critical element of the action needed to achieve the health-focused millennium development goals, strengthen primary health care, and advance towards universal health coverage. Uh, the, uh, this meeting is organized uh, as part of the activities of the Nodal Institute for Health Policy and Systems Research in India. Uh, and we at PHFI have been given the task of shepherding the Nodal Institute with the support of many of the other leading health policy and systems research institutions in the country. The focus of the Nodal Institute's work is to support HPSR capacity development, extend collaborations with existing capacity building initiatives, and facilitate the use of health policy and systems research evidence by decision makers. And as part of the work of the Nodal Institute, we've initiated a couple of uh, major efforts, the first of which is the Keystone Initiative, which is actually the context for why we are all assembled here to, today. Uh, currently, a three-day development meeting of Keystone partners and advisors is ongoing, and many of them will be featured in the panel here. Uh, and Keystone is actually a collective effort of coming together of 10 leading Indian HPSR training institutions and will be coordinated by the Nodal Institution. It focuses on capacity building for early career researchers through a combination of a short course and continuous mentorship and research support. In addition to Keystone, we also uh, proposed uh, to the ministry uh, a, a mechanism called the National Knowledge Platform, which would be an institutional mechanism to facilitate researcher support in health policy and systems research, capacity building and engagement uh, at all levels of the health system. The focus of the National Knowledge Platform will be to foster engagement between HPSR research, researchers and health system decision makers and to support need-based research through committed funding stream from the National Health Mission uh, in the event of its fruition. Uh, the steering committee that has been proposed for the National Knowledge Platform will be jointly chaired by the Secretary of Health and Family Welfare and the Secretary of Health Research. It's my pleasure also to welcome the chair for the proceedings at this point. Uh, Welcome, sir. This is how the National Knowledge Platform is envisioned as an institutional mechanism uh, led by a steering committee, which will be chaired, co chaired by the Health Secretary and the uh, Secretary of Health Research, with a coordinating office and uh, grantees uh, of a competitive grant mechanism supported by an advisory group, but well integrated with health system decision makers at national, state, and district levels. Uh, and also supported by a, 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 a supporting mechanism of institutes of excellence. So without further ado, let me introduce you to today's program. And we have an eminent list of speakers. I won't introduce each of them uh, by individually, but each of their reputations and their uh, achievements speak for themselves. We'll be covering a number of interesting themes. The first panel uh, following the opening session will be focused on the issue of how health policy and systems research can be embedded into the functioning of health systems in India. And there are a few questions that we hope the panelists will try and address through that, but of course it's, uh, they're open to uh, interpret uh, the question as you wish. And this will be the second panel on the developments, uh, how it developments in health policy and systems research can advance the achievement of, of universal health coverage in India. With that, I hand it over to the for further introductions. Thank you.